Hello, viewers. This is your Michael from Squiddy Views, bringing you a bringing you a new podcast on my subject called the Super Sentai Reviews. And like always, I'm gonna speak. I'm gonna I'm gonna speak very 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 loudly, very clearly, and very slowly in case you don't understand me. Also, I told you my best not to breach your heart during this art podcast recording as well, not to cause any early feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this art podcast recording will attain to adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, this art podcast recording will attain to adult, will attain to adult language if you're, under, if you're under 18. Now, if you're over 18, that means you better watch this, you know, that means you better watch this art podcast recording. So anyway, with this and anything else, Let's get into the latest episode. Boom, uh, boom, 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 Sorry. I love tongue tied today. Anyway, so basically, we see, we see the Rangers, we see all five Rangers in the space highway having a race. So basically, it turns out the Rangers can, uh, can also access the space highway, even, even it, you know, can act it, can you, you so basically the space highway that always you know, that they use to chase down Yaya when he when you when he glows big size, they can also so basically they do have access to the space highway without Yaya. So anyway so anyway, we see so basically we see who Boom Pink was in her uh, was in her wagon zord and Boom Boom was in his off road zord and we see um, you know uh, Boom Black was in his police in his in his police patrol car zord and for some reason I know I know a, I know a bulldozer is not that fast but seems like the sub zord it seems like we you seems like you seems like you I want to decide to the boot I want to decide to use the uh the shovel zord instead of the bulldozer zord so in the ways and basically we see Boom Boom was not in was not was not participating in this in the race. He was just watching from the command center. So basically, we see Boom Red in a new, in a new, in a new Boom card that that he was testing that he was testing out during the race. That being the racer, the racing Zord, the racing Boom Car Zord, and basically it turns out that you know, Boom Boom was also testing a a, a new a new or basically a, a special prototype version of a uh, of a uh, called uh, the off world the off world ghost. Mm-hmm. Boom car. So basically, it's just the same. It's just the same bird. It's just the same as his off road one, but it's just yellow and whatnot. So anyway, so basically, you know, you seem like you seem like the test. Uh, seem like the test for the the off road ghost or the off road or the uh, the off road ghost car was was okay. But as for Red, who was driving the racing Zord, when he set set the paddle, increased the speed of the of, of the racing Zord, it started to surge and start to zap him and whatnot. It started to zap him and whatnot. So basically, you know, so basically, boom, 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 ended up with the race and whatnot, and basically, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So basically, after the race, we see we uh, we see somewhere in some alley somewhere we see Mad Rex join a tempo task, join a tempo, you know, really pissed off during a tempo task, and a lot during a tantrum about about the progress of collecting human gasoline energy. So basically, you know, this gasoline energy, the first for it comes from human spirits and whatnot. So anyway, he's not happy. He's not happy with the progress. And and basically, sooner or later, sooner or later, he will have to face the boss and basically has nothing to show, to show for it. And basically, turns out we find Get to get to who get to who uh, finally get the name of that of the boss of the hockey Indian. His name is Y Specter. Y Specter, Specter, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Y Specter. Yeah. 
So anyway, so basic, and also he's pissed off that you know he let Boo Red got a got a scratch or you know pissed off about Boo Red you know and the and the booing just interfering. So basically, and plus he wants payback for Boo Red scratching him during that last fight. So basically, like you know, so basically you know DK Yaya and Tasha was like you know seeing how pissed off he was and basically like you know we need to really step up again because if we don't he's gonna take it out on us so basically you know and basically like you know and you know we do they said they're gonna step out again but you know for the moment there was the they, they figured for the moment let him cool down first before they start sucking up to him and basically they tried to leave and and that's what mad rex said where the hell are you two going i need you guys to i need you guys to I need you guys help them lure out Boo Red and, and separate him to the other Boo Rangers. So basically, you know, so basically they come up with, so basically, so basically they was coming up with a plan to, you know, to, to lure out the Rangers and separate the Ranger, or, you know, separate Ty Hano from the rest of the Rangers. So anyway, meanwhile, um, Meanwhile, we see, we see, you know, we see, uh, we see, we see Boom Red, uh, we, we see Todd, we see Todd Hano in his room, you know, being treated for his, for some wounds that he suffered from using the power of, power of the race car uh, during that race. So basically, you know, he got, his, you know, got like a, uh, like a, like a back patch or something on his back, like, you know, for the boosters that he got, got from using the power of the new race car droid and Boomer was helping him and while while Boomer was helping you know Ty with his, you know with his rooms from that race car from the new race car droid you know down down at the headquarters we see we see the rest of the Rangers are like you know like you know just you know just sitting around just sitting around just waiting for Ty and Ty and Boomer to come back and you know come you know, come, you know, come back from upstairs and whatnot. So anyway, Agent, Agent uh, Cyber, Agent Cyber showed up and basically, like, you know, she was like, you know, oh, oh, so basically, it's like, you know, where's Boomer at? So basically, like, you know, I came to, uh, I came to ask, you know, I came here to do three things. So basically, one is to ask Gimbria, why did you, or, or, or why did you join him? Why did you join, you join the Blue Ranger? So basically, you know, she you know explains that, well, that was Ty's decision to let Gimba join, join the, join the Ranger team. So basically, you know, and basically, you know, agents, agents, Cyber was still questioning, you know, gave my, my you know, <sighs> what you ch chance to gain here, and basically he's like, you know, whoa, let's just say, let's just say, just like my job, I'm just here to help and assist, assist, assist the best I can. So basically, gave me a gave me agent yeah, Cyber a good, a, you know, a a straightforward or oh, the straightforward answer, you know, and whatnot. And basically, and plus, turns out that you know, she was also here to boo boo him to give her, give him boo boo a CD for his manga slash animated his favorite manga slash animated series. So basically, she was kind of disappointed that boo boo wasn't you know wasn't around and whatnot. And basically, she got a CD based on some boo boo's favorite uh, uh, manga series slash animated series and whatnot. Anyway, and also, and finally, her third reason is that you know I came I came to discuss more uh, updates to the Boom Cars Arsenal, and basically, you know, the <sighs> lady. And basically, like you know, the uh, so basically, you know, Mino and and Joe, Mino and Joe was like, you know, why, why you can't hear the, why you can't hear to, you can't hear to help the uh, talk, help discuss, uh, 
the Scott, you know, Scott Arsenal, the Boom Cards Arsenal upgrades and whatnot. So basically, that's what Gimma said. Hmm. Hmm. So basically, like, hmm. So basically, like, yo. Know, so basically, you know, Gimma said that, oh, so basically, he's going he to turn the so Ty, 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 is going to turn all the Boom Cards into weapons. And, you know, and, 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 and put the, put the BBG, you know, you know, and not pissing we're not patient Teddy, you know, not uh, taking part of the BBG, and basically like you know, and like you know, you know, Joe and and Meadow was like you know, what the hell is going on here? So basically, you know, seems like you know, seems like you know that that uh, that yeah, that you know, Agent Agent Cyber and he knows uh, knows a bit more about uh, about this BBG here and that. Gimma was talking about. So basically, you know, and Gimma and Gimma and, and Agent and Agent, and, you know, Gimma, you know, and Agent Cyber is playing the B the BBG is this is this big is 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 basically a a big bang grand piece space race with cars in space. So basically so basically Tarhan the Tar made the boom cars to participate in that race. So basically the boom cars in the boom you know and the boom rangers were not were not specifically created to were to fight the you know Technically, at first, the boom rangers were not to the boom rangers and boom cars were not were not created to fight the hockey aliens at first, but to uh, only to uh, participate in that intergalactic space race only. But you know, since the hockey aliens came, you know, things had changed. So basically, you know, I figured that Ty would have told you to by now. And basically, and basically Ty came down. He's like, oh, wow. I was going to tell you guys, but since you guys know, that's the truth. That's the truth. So basically, that's the truth. The Boom Rangers were not, were not created, not technically created to fight, you know, to fight the hockey aliens, but to participate in the, you know, participate in that space race, in that that space race grand prix with whatnot and basically like you know and basically you know officer joe thought that you know you know middle and middle and joe uh middle and joe thought that was the purpose of the booings is just to just to for you know that's the purpose of the booings is just to fight the hockey aliens not and not participating and entertain you know not participating in some in some space race and you know and be entertainers and whatnot so anyway, so basically, you know, Minnow tried to ask you, ask Todd, you know, what do you, what do you think about, uh, so basically, like, you know, if, you know, what do you, well, honestly, if you, honestly, what do you think about the purpose of the Blue Rangers right now, you know, fighting the hockey aim? So basically, before Todd could say anything else, you know, the, 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 so basically, you know, there was some, there was a bunch of hockey alien foot soldiers attacking the city. So basically, they went down to deal with the hockey alien foot soldiers. So basically, VCGK, Yaya, and, so uh, and Tasa, you know, basically attacking humans with some foot soldiers, and therefore, and therefore, Yaya started to, uh, start to suck up the fear energy from the humans. It turns out that Yaya. Yaya didn't grow monster size. So basically, Yaya, when, when Yaya adores, you know, gasoline human energy for humans, he does not grow giant size. His eyes doesn't turn red or nothing like that. So basically, when he, when he adores gasoline energy, human energy from humans, you know, he just, you know, he just stays the same size and just, you know, sucks up all the energy in his body and still stays the same size. So anyway, and that's what it decayed and talking notice. So anyway, the Rangers showed up. They didn't morph. 
But, you know, and basically, you know, and basically, you know, once the Rangers showed up, you know, you know, the foot soldiers you know, along with Yaya, along with Yaya Tasha and you know, along with Ta- I mean along with Tasha and DK started to run away from the Rangers and the Rangers chased them uh, to the same warehouse from the previous episode and basically basically when they got into the warehouse mm-hmm. you know basically it was Joe it was Joe Middle and Shino and Gimba who got to the warehouse and basically they saw two people down turns out it was just it was just you know DK and Tasha you know wearing you know wearing disguises and therefore trap trap the four wages into different cages. So basically, you know so basically get so basically like you know so basically like you know so basically you know get, so basically so basically Meadow and Meadow and Joe was trapped in the cage with you know who with you know, with with Tasa and and Shino and Gimba was checking the cage with with decay with decay. Uh, so anyway, these cages, these cages, you know, are special have special electrical power. So basically, when they tried them off, you know, it, it just shocked them. So basically, they tried them off, but the cage, you know, electric current shocked them and to to stop them from morphing and whatnot. So basically, turns out DK and and and, and Tasha didn't plan to be trapped in the cages with the Rangers. So basically, you know, t- you know, Tot is tied to the point that you know, he's like you know, you guys didn't, you two, you two didn't just pay it. Paired to uh, find you know paired in, paired in case you guys get trapped in a cage with the other rangers. So basically, like you know, Meta was like you know, Meta was like you know, Ty, break us out of here. But and Ty and Ty was like, no, I can't do that right now. You know, I have to deal with him first. So basically, Mad Rex showed up and basically and basically challenged Boomer to a fight. And basically, you know, so basically Ty transformed into his ra- into his ranger form and started to fight Mad Rex. So basically, after after a few minutes of clashing, in clashing, you know, what we a few a few minutes of clashing together with their weapons and whatnot, you know, Mad Rex asked, you know, asked, asked, you know, so basically Mad Rex asked Ty Hanna to join to join the hockey aliens, and basically. I see you got passion, you got a dream. I like that. You got drive, you got dream, and you you had passion. So basically, and you're a good opponent. So basically, instead of making you my opponent, let's be allies. Cause honestly, I'm really sick of decay, decay, yaya, and 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 and, 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 and Tasha over there. They were screw up Trump, and besides, the the other boys are holding you back too. So basically, like you know, Tasha. Was like no thank you blah 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 I'm sticking with them whatnot etc etc so basically you know the fight so basically the fight continued on for a few minutes you know and basically and basically you know things you know Ty kept on saying things about his true dream about you know, kind of you know talking about his dream about the about the BDEG race so basically whatnot and basically you know. No, and basically, and basically, you know, the fight has continued, and basically, Mad Rex decided to do his finishing attack. You know, basically taking his death wad and to, and try to and try to finish off. Finish off Ty, uh, Ty, but Ty managed to dodge it and using the ties on his back to launch him to do the flank off finish attack on his using his using his boom handle. The boom handle weapon and and sword mode and basically managed to defeat managed to defeat he managed to defeat Mad Rex but he was still he was still but he was not destroyed he managed to defeat Mad Rex but Mad Rex was not was not going to give up to defeat to to defeat Todd 
So basically, he called Yaya, and basically, he starts to squeeze all the gasoline energy from Yaya that Yaya collected from the humans, and basically use that energy to make himself glow, grow, monster size. So basically, Boom Boom, Boom Boom showed up with the rest of the Boom cards, and basically, the Rangers, you know, and the warehouse got destroyed and whatnot, and the Rangers were free. So basically, the Rangers, so basically, the other Rangers morphed up and and basically, you know, and basically Boom Boom shut up with the Boom cards, and basically they start off with the police formation, uh, the police formation, but, but turns out that, turns out that Mad Rex is, you know, you know, death rod weapon is also a type of unicycle as well, and basically he was uh, he was too fast for Boo Boo, who for Boo Boo who is in who is in police form. So basically they try to build a form, but but he was too powerful for that. And so basically Magrax was too powerful was too was too powerful for for build a form for Boo Boo build a form for nation to work against Mad Rap. So basically they try they try regular form but they tried the, the they tried regular form so basically but using you know using the blue and using the blue and and pink Zords to you know form the regular Megazord combination but before he before before the combination was finished, you know he managed to stop stop and stop the pink 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 dragon guard for from attaching to Boom Boom's arm, and therefore therefore um, black and black and, and metal and Joe who was in who was in the off world in the off world car zord got joined out the mega sword and therefore landed on the ground and 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 de more. So basically, so basically, you know, but you know, Ty, uh, Ty was able to summon the the classic Carzord and basically managed to turn the classic Carzord into in sword mode, and basically, and basically, there was in dual wheel mode instead, and basically, you know. So basically, so basically, even Dual Remo was not strong enough to take down Mad Rack. So basically, it ended up take, it ended up taking off the screw spear up off the off world Zord and basically forcing forcing Shino and Gimba out of the off world Zord as well. So basically, you know, Boom Boom, Boom Boom was taking some damage, was taking some damage, was taking some serious damage, and also and also forcing the classic. The, the the classic car zord out of out of sword mode and whatnot. So basically, and basically, and that's when you know, and that's when Ty Ty was like you know, like you know, like you know was ta- was going to use the off wall ghost ghost zord to to attack to Boom Boom and then basically the both off world zords were basically like boxing gloves and whatnot. So the like that boxing glove formation. So anyway, so basically before before that even happened, you know, the other rangers were with begging Ty to uh, let's retreat for now and come back. Let's retreat for now because you know Marek is too strong for us and plus boom boom is taking a lot of damage. So basically but Ty I said no, no, no. I'm not losing to her. I'm not losing to Mad Rex at all or whatnot. So basically, I'm we're gonna you know you know I'm not gonna lose to Mad Rex and whatnot. So basically, you know, so basically using the using both off world Zords Zord, like boxing gloves, you know, it came down to one single punch. So basically, boom, boom. So basically, boom, boom, and Mad, Mad Rex. Managed to connect, you know, punches and whatnot, and basically, and basically, Mad Rex was basically knocked out of his monster size, and basically was forced to retreat, you know, after getting punched by by Boom Boom, and basically, you know, and but you know, because of the power of the awful Ghost Sword, you know, it caused a power surge inside the cockpit where where Ty was inside Boom Boom, you know, it, the awful Ghost Sword caused a power surge that ended up hurting, hurting, you know, ended up hurting, you know, hurting Ty. So basically, you know, 
And so Betty Madwax decided to retreat, you know, decided to retreat for now, and and, you know, and to retreat for now and turn back to its normal size. And basically, we see Boom Boom, you know, we see Boom Boom and Ty leaning on each other, you know, that look like they're you know suffering some, you know, suffering damage for from the fight, from you know from the giant fight with Mad Rat. So basically, like you no, know, Meadow and Joe was like you no. Know, Bitter and Joe was like, you know, was not happy, was not happy with Ty, was not happy how Ty wished his life and their lives just to, just to take down Mad Rex. I know it was important for us to take down Mad Rex, but it's could, it, but you know, it was pretty obvious that, you know, so it was pretty obvious that, you know, that, you know, that Mad Rex was too strong for us and we should have retreat and find a better way to take him down. And basically, like, you know, and basically, like, you know, Mano was like, you know, like, you know, so basically, like, you know, what what is your priorities here? Because you risk our lives uh, like it's nothing and your life is like it's nothing. So basically, before Ty say anything, like, you know, like, you know, Ty was just happy that, you know, he he, he, he was able to force, you know, Mad Wax. He was happy that, you know, that the awful ghost or how help you know help boom boom and uh, help boom boom to force Madrax to to retreat and basically before he was able to answer many of question Ty just you know passed out and uh, passed out and fell to the ground and basically that's how the episode ended with the with the Rangers and Boom Boom looking what you know trying to trying to get Ty up on the ground as he passed out and basically that's how the episode ended on this note. With the Rangers, you know, trying to get Ty uh, get Ty handle up from the ground as after he passed out and fell to the ground and basically that's how the episode ended on this note. So anyway, this was a good episode. So basically, I really like this episode. So anyway, so anyway, we got uh, we got more details about the true the true motives of Ty starting the Blue Angels in the first place and whatnot. So anyway, what do you guys think about this episode? Good, bad, or just okay? Please let me know in the comments below. Anyway, signing off on Screen Reviews. One.